the kill stage is going to be playing the Sheik, or is he just running with the Fox? He's going to be on Fox. Okay. Yeah, that, that Sheik only comes out during the summer, <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> but, That's uh, true. I haven't really seen his Sheik in quite some time now that I think about it. Yeah, it's... I mean, it's. I'm Dude. pretty sure if he whipped it out, it'd be a little bit rusty, but not too bad. But his foxes, that's the real breadwinner. If you ask him, he'll just say she sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? The potential to kill or the potential to get you so close but never kill you. Hmm. So we're going to start off on game one here with Smashville. Ralphie uh, forcing the kill stage off stage, trying to go for an early gimp, but the kill stage not having any of that, throwing out the right hitbox to get out of that. Now, it's partly in, uh, thanks to, to Kill Sage that Ralphie has such a fine understanding of this matchup, having constantly having uh, fought him in the past, both, you know, in Bracken and then just in training in general as they're both members of Vatro 3K. But right now, it's seeming like Sage coming back with a new fire to Smash 4, putting on plenty of hurt onto Ralphie. Yeah, the Kill Sage, even in this game, back up here, spacing out just enough to not get punished there. Good empty hop into the forward throw, regain some positioning, trying to rip his jump to make him blow that limit, but Ralphie is just not, is he still holding on to it, trying to get back down the stage. Oh, hits him with the last bit of the side B. That was a scripted kill right there. My man's dodged <laughs> all of that except the end. Yeah, that was as much plot armor as possible. The kill stage <laughs> should have had that kill with the up smash, but the side B coming through, stopping it all. Smart throwing out that down air there, not giving up any air dodges or anything like that to get gimped. Or get hit by the back air, excuse me. The kill is going to get that hard punish on the F tilt though with the perfect shield and the up smash is going to take it out. Yo, and the pivot taunt too. Mm -hmm. Sage got to feel himself a little bit after that, but Ralphie feeling all of this damage, almost getting the hot yeah, tier. Yeah, welcome to Cloud versus uh, Fox. See, the, he had, went from about 20% to 95 really fast. That anti-air down smash at the ledge. I've seen him do that multiple times today, and he somehow seems to land it almost every <laughs> single time. It is... It was such a great way. He's like, you know what? Stop. Go away. <laughs> Odyssey coming over, giving him the thumbs up. Sage got toasted. There's, uh -huh. there's no way around that. Sage had a big old smirk on his face. Like, yeah, you got that. All right. Game two bringing us to final destination. A uh, bit of an odd pick, but considering Sage's play style, it makes more sense. He's a lot more defensively oriented than most boxes. Mm -hmm. And... Here, he can definitely take out more of the juggle game against Ralphie, so long as he keeps Ralphie from doing the same to him. Yeah, Ralphie has been doing a great job. Of just He's been anti-airing anti like every attempt he's been going for for a jump, and he's been eating like 50% for it just because he clips him with one up air. But even in his game back up with his own up airs, the kill stage starting to slowly take control of this match here. Ooh, Yo. <laughs> what did I say? What control did he have? I lied to you. He just he he's saw, out of control right yo, now. He saw that coming from last week. Gets him with the finishing touch. And Ralphie with a pretty uh, convincing kill there. Definitely got to be fooling himself now after that. All right, trying to go for a couple empty hops to get him to drop shield. But Ralphie having none of it. The kill stage forced off stage. Trying to go for the single hit uh, drag down it from the side B. Unfortunately, going to get reversed there, and the kill Sage able to get the kill. Ralphie dying for his efforts right now, but Sage showing that he's at the very least making sure this momentum that Ralphie built up is not keeping him from any of his approaches. He's constantly forcing against his shield, and he's at least mixing up his options as to how to approach onto Ralphie, because we see Ralphie adapting very quickly. Yeah, it definitely seems like the kill stage starting to turn it up a little bit. He's opting for a more aggressive approach because Ralphie has been stuffing him out a lot when he gives him too much space. And now he's just opting to stay in, and Ralphie cannot get him off. Forced off stage, has to blow the climb hazard. No limit available to him anymore. Percentage is sitting at a relative even as Ralphie can make up this 20 deficit very quickly. But Sage is not letting go of those lead he has. He wants to get this into a game three. Dash attack pops him into the air, and up air gets the kill. That was weird. Yeah, he ended up uh, coming out on top from that trade there, and it worked out for him. And now we're going to be going into a game two. The kill Sage just really uh, like kicked the gear, uh, like kicked in the gears over the, that last stock there. Never gave him a comfortable amount of space. Like, you know what? I got good frame data. I got great moves. And if I hit you once, you're taking a lot. So he just kept smothering him. And I don't think Ralphie was prepared for it, especially after the way that first dude, uh, the beginning of that game went. Right. All right, so game three, I want to guess Battlefield. I don't think we will just because of how much Ralphie has been juggling him. However, it's Battlefield or Town and City. I think it's Town. Are we going to run into Smashville? Yo. Let me be wrong. Oh, the Luna's in the corner. It's okay if I'm wrong now. La Luna. 
There she is. Coming over from the Fox Brother Inn. Like I said, that's the real main reason we come here. Helper brings his wonderful dog, La Luna. And, well, it's actually it's just Luna, but still. Uh, she went away. Oh, no. So we're going to go on to game three here. Uh, both players sitting on the last game of tournament life. The kill stage coming. Just getting a run down, <laughs> down throw into up smash. Creating combos on the fly. And still running with that same fire that he had in that last game. Looking very good so far. Sage's use of Nair with Fox is very different than from what we see with most. He lets it linger just so that he can try and occupy some sort of space and very passively moves onto his opponent's uh, space. Yeah, passively kind of running all over Ralphie right now. 0% taken. Ralphie cannot do anything to stop this momentum right now. Let's see what he, he doesn't even get to grab. Okay. All right. So we'll be seeing no JV3s today, but the kill stage just on point right now. Finally getting a cross slash in there, get a little bit of damage on. Gets the roll with the up air and able to put on 50%. Now all of a sudden Ralphie getting himself back into this. Yeah, you try to steal that forward. I try to assert some sort of dominance out here, but no dice on that. Sage can be waiting. Just try to bait out an approach. He knows that that's where he can steal the most momentum away from Ralphie. Yeah, he's not going to be able to get him out of that recovery just yet. He's just going to slowly rack up that damage the best that he can. Ralphie, meanwhile, getting up his limit. Try to take away this stock lead that Sage has. Yeah, Ralphie doing a great job of uh, kind of rechanging the pace here after what was a very dominant first stock. Ralphie bringing this up to 103%, only taking 38. That's not going to kill yet, but hasn't blown his limit yet. I feel one thing that's really helped Sage in this particular set is he realized very early on that Ralphie keeps on going for aggressive aerial options as he comes close to the ground. Mm -hmm. Whether it's neutral air, whether it's down air, it's options that Ralphie's picking very quickly that he knows is going to beat out whatever Fox is using. And because of that, we see Sage constantly move in for the power shield, and all of a sudden, he has the advantage. Yeah, Ralphie uh, was doing a good job. He actually kind of recognized that Sage was doing the same thing, going for a lot of aggressive aerial approaches, killed him with that down smash. But Sage, once again, getting in with that Nair into the up smash, and that's going to be the end of Ralphie's amazing loser's run that he had to kill Sage moving on into this bracket. All right, well...